Uh, how you guys doing? Today we're gonna be tie dyeing some shoes. We're gonna be doing these shoes for our little man. We got these from Walmart. Pay ten dollars for these. They look sort of like the Vans. So if you guys wanna try to customize Van type shoes before you guys try the real ones, these were only ten dollars. And we're gonna try to make these orange to make them look like DJ Lance Rock shoes. All right. If you don't know who that is, he's from Yo Gabba Gabba, a show that my son loves. We're going to be using the orange tie-dye. We got this from Walmart. It's the apricot orange. Only costs about $5. So if you guys want to try it out, try it out. Let's go to Walmart. All right. We also got the bucket filled up. Right at the bottom, you got to have the temperature. should be around 200 Fahrenheit or greater. And put one teaspoon of dish detergent soap. With these canvas shoes, we want to pre-soak them first. So we went ahead and did that, rinsed them off with water, got them all soaked up real good. And then we moved on to the next step. Once pre-soak is complete, I went ahead and grabbed the Ritz dye that I bought, the orange one. I ended up only using half of the bottle because it's only two little small shoes. So I didn't want to use the whole bottle for that. Mixed everything up real well. All right, here we are putting the shoes in. They wanted to keep flowing to the top, but uh, our son gave us an idea to put another pot in there to keep them from floating to the top. And we let it soak about an hour. Just remember to take the insoles out if you don't want the insoles dyed. And here's after they're done. I took them out, went ahead and rinsed them off. You want to rinse them with hot water and then go to cold water after that. Here I use a small Q-tip to use the acetone. And spread the acetone out. It only has a small part that needed acetone. I also got these two colored leather acrylic from Hobby Lobby. If you guys want to go there, right here I'm taking the Q tip with acetone and just, just cleaning off the part where I'm going to be painting. And right here I'm painting it white. I want to give it a base coat, so that's why I'm going white. I want to say I gave it one to two coats. And let it dry. I use the hair dryer to let it dry and help the drying process faster. And that's it. I mean, I could have added another coat, but I was happy with the results right here. So I moved on to the yellow. Right here, I'm putting the yellow on, and you could tell that that base coat helped out a lot. If you want the yellow to really pop and be real vibrant, you want to give it a nice base coat. Just because it's a darker color, so you want to go with a white first and then go move on to the yellow. And I gave it a couple coats of yellow. I did it on both sides and on both pairs of shoes using the blower dryer to help it out. And of course, I use Angelus acrylic finisher. I chose the matte type. Got this off of Amazon. If you want, I'll put a link below. Went ahead and applied, I want to say, two coats of that over the yellow just to help seal it give it that uh, factory finish that they normally come with that I removed with the acetone this part is pretty important so it's durable so definitely you definitely don't want to skip that step getting a finisher and I chose the Angelus one all right and here is the finished product after they were done drying this is the first time using a RIT dye, and we, we think it came out great. We think it came out, the orange and the yellow really came out looking nice, uh, especially for our first time customizing anything. Our son loves them. We think we did a good job. We definitely want to do more shoe customs. Uh, we have a couple Air Force Ones we want to try and a couple Walmart shoes that we're going to end up customizing definitely stay tuned to those 
let us know what you guys think about this one let us know if you guys are going to try it on your own definitely tag us we want to see what you guys do also consider subscribing we greatly appreciate it thank you guys until next time just remember anybody can customize if we can do it you can do it all right